So what are these? These are mobile phone antenna. They're transmitting mobile phone energy in a beam that comes more or less horizontally out from them in a particular direction. And one of those directions will be towards this apartment. There are three sets of them. Well, they'll be pointing in different directions. Or maybe they will be from different operators. Okay. And here they are, beaming onto us. And uh, we are here temporarily. We've got this apartment for exchange of our old apartment as it has been it is being repaired and we see this and we started measuring it it's a beautiful garden here give a shot to it it's such a beautiful place it's a lovely apartment trees and a beautiful view on the real down area but this is the side between two lakes that are covered in trees it's a magnificent place and uh, modern architecture modern Swedish architecture it's lovely Nevertheless, all this loveliness <coughs> comes at a price. We have a machine here called um, an electrosmog meter, if you like. It's, uh, it, measures radio, it, me it measures electromagnetic radiation. Um, it has an antenna here, and it picks up the electromagnetic radiation from this particular site. And I'm going to change over the measurements now so that they measure in watts per square meter. It doesn't show it, the light's gone. I'm going to do the light now because I've got to do that. There we are. So I take this off. No, that's not right. So I take... Yes, okay. So this is now measuring milliwatts per square meter. And you can see if we get close to the window here, we get measurements of about between... Can't see much. It's reflection. Can you put it like that? Of that? No, because then you won't get the right signal. Mm-hmm. We're get, we're getting at the moment. Can you read that? Yeah. Yeah. Let's move it closer here. You can see that we're getting signals from about one point six. So there's two point one. Sometimes it goes up to 5. There's 4.5 there. There's 6.35, 6.7, 6 6.4.5. What, what is this? These are milliwatts per square meter, you see. And you can see these, uh, these measurements are quite high. They're, they're a lot of them at the moment it's over 5 milliwatts per square meter. This is quite a lot of energy. Now what I'm going to do now, what I want to do now is an experiment. Wait, well, what is this? This is the scale here on the... Machine, yeah? No, that, that's nothing to do with this because we're directly measuring measuring now in milliwatts per square meter. That's a different scale called decibels. Okay. So anyway, what I want it you does to decibels as well, yeah. Yeah. What I want to show you here is is that this energy, which comes along, is actually absorbed by people's heads. So in other words, if you measure the energy from this antenna over there. And then you put somebody's head in the way and you measure it behind the head, you find that there's a reduction in the energy of almost 
So most of this energy goes inside into your head. Isn't that something? Oh, but you don't know that. It might bounce away from your head. No, because your head doesn't reflect. Your head is water, and water absorbs this stuff. Okay. This is all well known. So anyway, we're going to do an experiment where Ditto is going to be a guinea pig, and she is going to measure the energy. We're going to put it in front of her head, and you're going to see the measurement as it goes through her head and gets absorbed by her head. So let's do it then. So if you stand here now, you have to hold this though so that we can see it. Okay? And you have to come around so that it's in it's so your head is in the way. Alright, that's good. Okay. So here we are. Can you put it closer to your head a bit? There we are. Let's see what we've got. So turn it sideways so that we can see. No, not yourself, but the meter. So the meter has to go like that. That's it. And your head has to go. No, your head has to go this side don't, of the don't, meter. Don't, 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 don't feel me so you've got You've got to have this one. Put me, put me. Wait, 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 right, you've got to have that there. That's right, okay. And your head there. That's it, fine. Okay, we're going to see what measurements we've got here. I have to zoom in here. I'll just bring it in. Okay, then you can see the measurements here. They say, we're just going to look at them for a bit. So 2.5, 2.7, 3 .0. These are watts per square meter. Now you have to stay absolutely still and just put the, put the meter on the other side of your head. Mm -hmm. Okay, so don't, don't you move, but you just put, no, on this side of your head, behind, behind your head. That's it. That's it. There we are. Down a bit. There. Okay, let's see what we've got. Can't see. Well, it's the same. <laughs> that experiment doesn't work. How can that be? Pain. Let me hold it now. Look at the reflection here. Let's see. So it's going 1.2. Now give me that one. I'll hold it. And now we've got... This is terrible. Okay, we've got four... We've got three to four... Yeah, 3.94 there. I'm going on this side now quickly. And we've got 0 0.6. There we are, that's it, okay. So you've got, see, there's 1.2, 1 1.6, 0 0.8 on this side of her head. And on this side of her head we've got... Three point nine, three point five, four point four, see, three point nine. Okay. So on this side of the head, we've got four milliwatts per square meter, and on this side of the head, we've got zero point seven, zero point four, zero point three. I think that that's good enough. That's good enough. There we are. So, uh, what would be your description of this situation then? Well, this energy is enormously high. A milliwatt is a, joule per, is a millijoule per second. Now, that's, this is energy, millijoules per second. And if this was, um, if, if, if this is said weighs three kilograms, and we've got three millijoules per second, then what we've got is, is one millisievert per second in terms of dose. One millisievert per second. So if that was natural background ionizing radiation, she would be dead within an hour from that dose. This is one millisievert per second. Anyway, it's not that. But what is it? It's electromagnetic radiation. But the thing is that, that we know from all the experiments that have been done and all the epidemiological studies that have been done, that these radiations cause cancer. They cause all sorts of problems. They cause brain tumors, they cause ma uh, breast cancer in, in mice. Huge numbers of experiments have been done now that show that they're very dangerous. And the way in which they're dangerous, I already explained on a, in another YouTube presentation, is that they interact with ionizing radiation and their energy is borrowed by the ionizing radiation. We don't know how much, and we don't know what, what the conversion factor is from the dose 
in electromagnetic radiation terms to the dose in ionizing radiation terms. But nobody will let us do that, stu that study because it can be done. We tried to... to, to it can be done. It can be done. It's not a difficult but nobody study. nobody finances it. But nobody will pay for it to be done. And this is quite a terrible situation because it means people living in apartments like this or living close to the beam of one of these things are going to have a much higher risk of, of, of getting sick from cancer. And it's not, not only cancer. It's not as simple as that either, because it's a whole range of psychological illnesses too, because obviously if you're beaming this stuff into your you brain... You don't sleep in these uh, if you're beaming this very stuff well. Into you your can't brain, sleep well either. No, you feel a kind of tightness around your head. I mm -hmm. mean, it's, it's not your imagination, it's a sort of tightness around your head. There is something you can do about it, you know, not very... It's not very satisfactory, but at least it, it can help, and that is to make a wall of water between yourself and the, and the beam. So when you get your bed, you can make some kind of fish tank type arrangement or hot water bottle screen or something like that. Because as you can see from the experiment we just did with Ditta, water does absorb this stuff. So if you're down, if you're down wind, if you like, or you're on the opposite side of a wall of water, quite a narrow wall of water is all you need, you will find that the field drops down immensely. I've heard clay does that as well. Clay, if it's damp, would do that, but it have to be. It has to be something that contains uh -huh. water molecules. Okay, not if it's dry. Yeah. Yeah. Not if it's dry. No, because okay. you can see we've got we've got effectively got clay in the walls here. I mean, these walls are made of concrete, and yet we've measured the electric field all the way through the whole of the building, and it doesn't disappear. I mean, even in the back room here, it's still significantly high in places. And also, the other thing is it bounces around inside the room, so you can't absolutely be sure where it's going to be high and where it's going to be low. You need to have one of these machines to walk about and find out where the field is high and where it's low. And all this beautiful nature and all this sort of loveliness. And still, yes. it's not prepared for your health. Well, normally, normally these antennae uh, uh, don't, don't beam directly into people's homes. They beam up in the air. And so they have a kind of pattern which prevents them from beaming into your home. Unfortunately, they, they, they didn't design this one properly. They put it directly opposite this apartment building on, a, on a quite a high building. So what happens, of course, is it comes directly into the home. And you, you look, there is a beautiful big, big mast. But there's not much on it, is it? Probably it's much more expensive than to put it just on the house. Well, there's going to be a terrible outcome from, from all these mobile phone mast systems. And in a lot of countries now, they've banned them. So people who live, in, in, certainly in France and Switzerland and some places, local people have taken the, the operators to court and uh, succeeded in having the, man, the, the mast taken down. Because they do cause effects on people who are electrosensitive. And most of the people have effects just later on. Well, I certainly have life. an effect. I have an effect here. I haven't been able to sleep as well here as I normally can. And normally I can sleep like a dog. So what were your measurements? You did some measurements. The measurements give... Uh, but do you, can you show them to us today? You were going to check them, huh? Well, this was inside the building. So on the seventh floor inside the building, you can see, we've got um, 0 0.08 to 0 0.13. Now this is inside, of course. So this is not this is not, not comparable. As bad as here. Not comparable from what we've done here. This is inside the lift shaft. So on the front end, facing the facing lift the shaft. antenna. No, you know, inside the hall. Inside the hallway where the lift is. Okay. So we've got 0 0.08 to 0 0.13 at the front end, facing the antenna. 0 0.04 to 0 0.05 at the back end. And on the sixth floor, it's 0 0.03, 0 0.04, and then it's 0 0.01. You see, so it's dropped down by a factor of four by the time you get to the back of the building. And here we've got 0 0.01, but it's gone 0 0.03 the other side. Now I think this must be somebody using a Wi-Fi system, because as we go further down, we find on the fourth floor it's dropped right down. So you can see all the way down, it's dropping, it's dropping until it gets to the third floor. Of course, it stops altogether because the beam is no longer shining on that little piece of, of on these first three floors. So you can see, so the, the energy density there is the same, 0 0.003, 0 0.003, 0 0.003. So it goes up as you go up on the front, and it goes down, and it's always lower on the back, except for one point, which, which we're not quite sure why that is. But. Okay, so 
If we would like to have a nice sleep, we would have to go to the elevator shop. Yes. <laughs> Let's go to the elevator and have a look. What it shows there. <clears throat> Why didn't you close the door? So, so, so. Here is uh, the hall where you have been doing those measurements, yeah? Well, I'll put the floors. light on here now, and you can see that the measurements are much lower here in the hallway. See, point zero 0.02 we've got here yeah. in the hallway. Yes. And if we go into the lift, you'll see that we've... Um, and in fact, it goes down as you go back towards the back of the... Yeah, exactly, yeah. So, oh, so we go now into the lift. And here, when the door shuts, we'll be allowed to... So, so what we've got here is point... I don't know, we've got point zero 0.02 here now. So it's, but it's, as we go down, it goes down, doesn't it? See, it's now point zero 0.01. Oh, God. <laughs> See, as we're going down. So it's now down all the more, so it's down to nothing now. Because we're at the bottom of the... Um, right house. At the bottom of the house now, yeah. So there's more or less nothing there. No. That's about. That's just electrical that's noise. That's spectacular. And in fact, if we get back in the lift and go up, we can watch watch the numbers go yeah. up. Yeah. But I think that was good enough yeah. for the view. And so then you can see there's. Down here, yes, there got, was one more interesting yeah. place, huh? This so we're down here. It's yeah? fine down here. Yeah. But uh, it was very interesting also that. Uh, here, there was some radiation here, huh? Well, this is well, this is nothing here. It's really absolutely nothing here. See? Yeah. Oh, still some eights and 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 zeros and sevens. But well, there's uh, bound to be a bit of electrical. Uh, hmm. Now let's check out what's going on there in the cabin of uh, machines. I thought this was very cosy. Maybe it's best to sleep here. <laughs> oh, this is pretty good. Look at this. This is great, huh? Yeah, that's about as low as it goes. Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> So we should stay. We should stay here then. We should move out of that apartment now and move down here to the washing machine place. <laughs> what is time? You still have some? Okay, we have some minutes. Okay, we can show you the beautiful garden. Then. Such a beautiful house. Really great example of Swedish living. See down here it's quite low as well. 0 0.017, 0 0.015. Yeah. See? Oh, it's all reflection, can't see anything. I'll try and get I'll try, I'll get the light going again. Yeah. Okay. And uh, here is so lovely and sunshine is with us. So it's still nice, point zero, well, it's going up now, point zero six it's now. It was seven there as well. Some no, sweet ah ah. That was point zero zero seven. This is point zero seven. Okay. Ha uh ha. -huh. That's why, would you think? Well, because we're getting some scatter of the building now. And scatter of the yeah, building. You know, it's bouncing off. Hitting that thing and bouncing off it and then ricocheting around the whole of the area. Actually. That is the house that we started from. Yeah. It's bouncing around, yeah? yeah? Yeah. And that is our balcony. Top, top. Now we can't see the antenna here. We can just see a bit of them. Point zero 0.06, so it's not too bad down here. 
That's a piece of the antenna. Yeah. That's the fattest one. I think that must be the most powerful. Can't tell. I think it's one of those three little ones in the middle or something. I think there were four of them in the middle. Okay, we'll finish with this, right? So, uh, your general then... Um... My general opinion of it all is that we should move. <laughs> For the better lands, yeah? yeah. <laughs> or maybe just well, switch off that. Or we could ask them to switch it off, yeah. That wouldn't be hard, huh? Mm. Uh, because how would we... I mean, you can easily damage, do some damage on the apartment and sort of you just put a kettle somewhere and it makes a brown mark, yeah? Mm. On the furniture and you see the damage, but with people it's not so easy to see the damage of no, these but things. I have to say that unlike ionizing radiation, this stuff actually, you can feel it, you know? I mean, I don't know if you've ever sort of held a mobile phone to your head for rather too long time. I mean, I myself never do that. I always put it on loudspeaker and hold it out here. But in fact, if you hold a mobile phone to your head for any period of time, you start to get a sort of compression feeling in your head and a sort of slight sickness. But uh, and what, I get your, that here, what, what does happen? What do, are these waves? Is this like sort of microwaves in your microwave oven? It's exactly the same as microwaves in your microwave oven. Exactly the same. It's exactly the same. Exactly it's like the same. cooking in a microwave. Yeah, it is. But of course, the temperature the difference that you get, because the energy is very low, it won't heat you up very much, more than a fraction of a degree. But it does heat you up a little bit. But that's not the point. The point is it has other effects which are not to do with heating. And the problem is that those people who regulate it, they consider only the heating. They think it's just the heating. And so long as it doesn't heat you up more than a fraction of a degree, it can't be bad for you. It's utter stupidity. They have, no, they have loads of evidence to the contrary, lots of evidence that, that actually it has all sorts of biological effects, but they just ignore it because there's so much money riding on it, especially in Sweden, where you have Sony Ericsson now representing about at least half of the gross national product of the whole country. This is why they can't afford to shut these things down. Or to, or anyway, to they it. could at least put them on the mast. That's true, they could certainly do that. That wouldn't be so very differently because it's much harder for us to show the damage it causes to our cells. And what kind of damage does it do? It, ca it causes genetic damage in the, almost exactly the same spectrum of damage as ionizing radiation. Ole Johansson has done some experiments with skin cells in which he shows that the, uh, the type of damage caused to the skin cells is exactly the same type of damage that's caused by ionizing radiation. And we know that ionizing radiation kills you causes cancer so presumably this stuff does exactly the same whole range of things that, that, that are in the same spectrum as the, as the problems that that's you more get. slowly yeah yeah it's genetic damage well yes well of course ionizing radiation takes a long time to kill you you get a big dose and then like you know it's 20 years later you get cancer these things have only been around a short time you wait huh um, and what more? It's not only cancer. What more could it, could it give? Well, it'll cause mental problems. It'll cause a, it causes depression. It causes irritability, sleeplessness, um, neurological symptoms. You know, headaches, that kind of thing. That's all well known, well documented. I mean, lots of experiments, lots of epidemiological studies have been done showing that. And you have said that. Um Ionizing radiation can cause any disease. Yeah. What would you think this can cause? Also, any sort of any weakness in your genetical well, kit. Well, of course, if it if it, would poten expose if, it if it potentiates ionizing radiation, which which I believe is one of its mechanisms, then of course it will it will increase any rate of any disease. But it does seem to have a range of, of effects which are more immediate. And these are these are neurological effects. These are effects on, like I said, like on sleeplessness and irritability and depression and anxiety, and, and uh, all of these mental what what minor mental illnesses, I suppose you would call them. So, let's uh, try to so fix an order to this um, area of health risk, yeah. And um, let's try to get these facts into public and create an order. Thank you for being with us.